Are you ready for a history lesson? This is a brief cyber history of COVID-19 cybercrimes. In March of 2020, our world and how we connect with it changed forever. The year 2020 saw cybercrime spike to unprecedented heights as scammers took advantage of the new normal. As many workers quickly shifted to a home office, cybercriminals ramped up their attacks, hoping they'd hit a more vulnerable audience. By readdressing the recent past, we can learn from mistakes that happened not too long ago and better protect ourselves from a future that is bound to be ridden with similar cyber scams. In early 2020, the public's desire for information was taken advantage of. An uptick in fake public health agencies phishing emails convinced people to share their personal information. Coronavirus domains were also created in great numbers as a way to mimic reputable services and mine users' credentials or distribute malware. Shortages in home essentials, such as food and toilet paper, made way for fraudulent online websites advertising sales of short supply items. These fake pages collected credit card numbers, but provided zero product in return. As the pandemic wore on and vaccines rolled out in 2021, new scams revolved around vaccinations. The already vaccinated were targeted with phishing emails, offering gifts in exchange for completing vaccine surveys, which requested personal, medical or financial information. In a turn of events, opportunities for identity theft were unknowingly welcome, as people began posting pictures of their vaccination cards on social media, including full names, birth date and other personal information. As our journey continues, it's important to reflect on the lessons learned from the past. Use the SLAM method to verify the validity of incoming messages. SLAM stands for sender, links, attachments, and message. And paying close attention to these areas for every message you receive can pay off big in the long run, especially those related to COVID-19. Be sure to solely utilize trusted, local or governmental outlets when searching for COVID-19 information or resources. And refrain from sharing your personal information, such as vaccination cards on social media, in order to protect your valuable information and prevent identity theft. A cornucopia of sophisticated and realistic phishing attempts entered our inboxes since the start of 2020. We have grown older and wiser with time, and these examples of the past make for great lessons on how we can protect ourselves in the future.